what is going on you guys it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again one time for the one time for the divine masculine to let you guys know what is going on for mid may 2019 yes and god the 15th through the 31st step right through listen hey y'all y'all know batman fat man from the aries video y'all listen he, he found his friend he found his friend Listen, this is Wonder Woman, but you know what? I feel like there's some differences here. And he still seem like he upset Fat Man. Let's talk to Fat Man real quick. Excuse me, girl. Excuse me. Let's talk to him real quick. Why for out thou are you so upset if you found your Wonder Woman? Why for out thou are you still so upset, Fat Man? Fat Man, because you know I loved you, boo. You know you my nigga. It don't even matter. You know you my boo. Cause I'm I'm working through we we spiritually we working to get you together. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna figure out what's going on, baby. What? Tell me what? 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 Oh, she not the same no more. She not no same no more. Oh, oh, really? Oh, Batman. Let me let, let, let me let me check her out. Girlfriend, where you been at? Where she been at, y'all? Wherever look, she happy then a bit. She ain't looking like Fat Man Batman, is she? Is this the one that he was wondering about, y'all? Ooh, look at her. Look at she. Look at we. Ooh, look, she's so plush. And just, oh, now, now, Batman. Now, you don't finally found your Wonder Woman, but there's some big changes here. And it looks like she's smiling. And you, and, and what's going on here? Is this? I don't know. I felt like I needed to listen. My daughter. Now you know I, I love my fat. Now Batman been around. This my boo. Mm, this my baby. But my daughter just said, "Mommy, look, I got one too." I said, "Well, shit." And just the mere size differences, and just how she looks so happy, and just oh, uh, it's just totally oh. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just a different. It's just different energies here. I felt like it's so relevant. <laughs> Like it was just so relevant, and she is so much. She's grown, so much bigger, and he just seems like he's still, he's still average size. He still seemed like upset with his life, like. But she's just grown, and she's just blessed and highly favored. Look at her. Look at her little feet. Ooh. Okay. So I'm just going to put them. No, Fat Man. This my. This my Batman. My Batman. Okay. She can go right here because she's too big to be on the table. But I just want to give her one more hug, girl, because I'm proud of you, girl. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I feel like somebody needed to see that. Does somebody need to see that? Oh, okay. Okay. But, you know, this is Divine Masculine reading. But I just, I felt like it was very much so relevant. It was so relevant. The size difference, the emotional difference between the two. They're both superheroes, Fat Man, Batman, and Wonder Woman. And he been wondering about this woman. Ain't you been wondering about this woman? Oh, yeah, that's why I'm so sad. That's why I'm so bitter. That's why my life's so fucked up. Okay, anyway. Okay. I'm going to release that. We gonna, they do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. Did y'all hear that in the back? Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let that go. I just need to take the marinade for somebody because somebody needed to see that. Okay, here we go. We getting back to regular. Stuff. How y'all doing? Hi, it's Scorpion Reds Tarot. Again, we back at it. One time for the one time for May the 15th through the 31st. Shout out. And like I said, I, I waited specifically to after the Scorpion Moon to do this because I needed to just re-energize and get my shit all yeah, just flowing just right. Because, you know, that's in my element. Ram, ram, ram. You understand what I'm saying? I had to, yeah, be in my element. Because all them other hoes is irrelevant. Girl, girl, I done told y'all that in the Divine Feminine. Girl, listen. Listen to me, Linda. Okay, come on. Come on with me. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. Let's see what we got. No, don't feel like talking to you. Hey, sorry. I'll call you later. Okay, so... If there's anyone who would like to book a personal private reading with me and all of the foolishness that you just seen just now, okay? <laughs> 
the information for my booking is in the about tab. What you need to do is book then link. Click that booking link that says Scorpion Rest Tarot as Simply Book Me. Select your reading and then link up with me. Uh, my Instagram link is right under the booking and or you can use my email which is scorpionrest at gmail.com and you can use this app called Google Hangouts. It's very easy. Just, you know, download the app and um, use my email. Again, which is scorpionrest at gmail.com and um, send me a message and then we'll link up there um, on the scheduled day for your reading, okay? And make sure as soon as you guys book that y'all send me a message because if I could slide you in earlier than what you book, I'm going to try to get you in the same day, okay? Um, if anyone would like to, oh, let me give a shout out to my baby Kylie because I know she watching Kylie. My baby Kylie did us a solid, two solids. She got us this numerology deck. She got that off of the uh, my Amazon wish list. So if there's anyone that wants to send love and light to the page or if you have a specific deck in mind because she sure enough did email me and was like, are you interested in this? And it was the fucking Game of Thrones deck. And y'all all, listen. Y'all already know. Y'all don't do me about my Game of Thrones. Y'all already know how I am about my Aria, girl. Girl, she called me. She was like, what she called me? She emailed me. She was like, girl, would you like this? I said, what? She said, add that to your Amazon wish list. So guess what? Now, what This week, around the 22nd or something like that, we're going to be getting that and another Love Oracle deck. Shout out to my baby girl, Kylie. Shout out to my girl, Amanda, who's um, recently sent some money to the um, PayPal. Shout out to everyone who's been sending money to the PayPal because it made it possible for these tea readings that y'all love. Because y'all seem to love these damn tea cards. And I will be using them today. I will be using it today because we're going to figure out what the t t t t t what the tea is, okay? Y'all got y'all saying? <laughs> y'all dog got my beat up cup, but 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 beat up cup, but 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 beat up cup, okay? But this motherfucker be lasting me, okay? Anyway, let's get into this. So if you want to give um love to the page, I have a PayPal. If you want to check out something on the Amazon wish list, and um you want to send love to the page to help us continue to grow and have fun here, um the links is in the description and in an about tab. All right. So let's get into the reading. Father God, thank you so much for the ever so much desired and required Scorpio Moon. Honey, ooh, I'm just saying this. I'm feeling good, Father. I'm feeling good. I'm, 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 hold on, but we, but we about to make this about the divine masculine. I'm just telling you where I'm at right now. Hold on, Father. I just had to give you praises and just say thank you. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, <laughs> I to get a step. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. God forgive them for they don't know what they doing. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Stop what you're doing, because I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you used to. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm just too. I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. Y'all understand. Batman, do you understand? He don't understand. Listen, Father God, give us guidance for the divine masculine. Let me tell you something, Father God. I feel like this Scorpion Moon was required and desired. I know it was rough for a lot of people. A lot of people don't understand that Scorpion energy, but I'm a Scorpio. So, honey, I have fun. I love death. I love death and transformation and rebirth and just renewal. That's me. Things need to go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, bitch? Let it go. Okay? So, listen. Father God, put your hands on the people that were struggling through this. Because it ain't over. It ain't over. Because I know a lot of shit done came out recently. Okay? And it might be hard for a lot of people to deal with. A lot of hard pills for people to swallow. But things happen for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And people got to lay in the beds that they were made. You know? Like, okay, that's just like, okay, I'm going to take it back to Game of Thrones. You know how much we hated fucking Cersei throughout the whole season. But... At the end, when she was scared and she knew she was about to die, didn't you kind of feel sorry for her just a tad bit? No? Oh, okay, it's okay. No, whatever. <laughs> Batman was like, no, like shit. Um, no, I ain't feel sorry for that bitch, okay? Mm-mm. But listen, it's just like sometimes people just got to deal with the beds that they were made and, and you know, they got laying lay in the beds that they, were, that they made for themselves. And sometimes, you know, a lot of people unnecessarily got some karma that they stepped into unknowingly. You know what I'm saying? And some bad stuff got rubbed off on them and now they got to kind of wipe their slate clean. But that's what these transitions is for. That's what the Scorpio Moon is for. It's really digging deep and finding out what is it that I 
what is it that I'm dealing with that is a taboo subject that it's like I know I need to touch on, but it's just like, ah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't quite ready to deal with that. But, you know, some of us are being forced to deal with certain things that we didn't want to deal with, that we've been pussyfooting around with, dealing with. And, like I said, to me, it was a much required and desired transition and change because collectively, regardless if we like it or not, or we want to recognize it or not, a lot of things needed to change about a lot of people. In order for us to like be that phoenix and you know ashes to ashes dust to dust and rise again you know what i'm saying still i rise and that's the thing that you guys have to understand it's divine masculine it's still i rise it doesn't i'm not saying it doesn't matter what you did to get you where you're at or whatever you know what i'm saying because i i know that i, I really do feel like a lot of divine masculines have made a lot of authoritative decisions in their life and they are stepping in and they're taking back charge of certain things but at the same time they're still kind of like fat man batman i feel like y'all are still not satisfied y'all still are you know i still like you guys need to go through your healing and that's why i do this this is why i do this because y'all men y'all need help and y'all need healing and y'all need guidance too because i don't want y'all walking around feeling like this because listen it's been a reversal of energy because back in the day the divine feminine was feeling like this and she was feeling small and you was feeling tall and now she's feeling tall she's feeling bigger than life you understand? Like, like I just got to sit her here. I don't even have to even put her close up to the screen. But, honey, she take up the whole screen. She take up the whole space. Do you understand what I'm saying? And when you put her in front of people, you can feel that positive energy here. You see what I'm saying? Her life, she had that Phoenix moment. And shout out to all of my ladies that's had this Phoenix moment where y'all can resonate with the energy that y'all are getting from her. Girl, this is Fluffy Muffy. Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy, listen. So I and my main and, and that's my message to you, man. It's like it's been almost like a transfer of energy. So what I need you guys to understand is don't beat yourself up for the things that happen. I know that a lot of you have some permanent uh things in your life right now that you just can't change due to some of this some of the decisions that you guys have made. But that doesn't mean I mean those things are blessings as well. They were part of your transition. They were part of your lesson. They were part of your story to make you the man that you are becoming to be. You understand? So what I really want you guys to do is don't fight with this transition. This is just like I was telling my um my friend Armin the other day. Like, if y'all don't know who um the goddess, the Hindu goddess um Kali is, Kali represents like basically the death or the um the grim reaper the death card in the tarot that's how i take her and she's there to basically push people through their transitions like people that really don't want to transition and that want to fight with her and don't want to change to the day you know because we all have free will to change and god gives us the ability to make our own decisions in life but if we are just stubborn and unwilling to change then that's when that death card comes you know what i'm saying and it's like the universe is forcing you to change regardless if you like it or not. And like the story of the deity, Kali, like she comes to you like, listen, you got to walk this path. I'm giving you a chance to walk it. Either you going to walk it or I'm going to cut your head off and I'm going to add your head to my necklace. You know what I'm saying? So people that are unwilling to change, she cuts, she cuts their heads off. She releases their soul to the next stage in life because they were unwilling to change and she adds their fucking heads to her necklace okay where's Kali I want where is the deck where is the freaking deck it's all the way back there I can't even get it but I will show you who Kali is if you don't know who Kali is Google Kali you understand what I'm saying so what I want you guys to understand is I don't want y'all to get no Kali visit you see what I'm saying I really want you guys to stop fighting through this transition 
I want y'all to let certain things go. Truly learn the lessons that y'all needed to learn so that we can go to this next chapter so that y'all energy can match this person's energy because uh, this is y'all's wonder woman. This is y'all wonder woman. This is the one that y'all been wondering about. But you have to match her energy. You understand what I'm saying? You got to match her energy. You can't be, she can't be this big and you're this small and her energy is like this and your energy is like this. You see what I'm saying? So it's time for you to go through your stage of elevation because she had to elevate because of you. Because you made her feel this small. And you was out here with your back to her, back turned to her being this big. You could barely even see her. You know what I'm saying? So you guys have to go through what y'all going through right now. But y'all need to go through it learning the lessons and really able to transition and let go of the old shit. Stop dwelling on bullshit in the past and it's really to, that's what the scorpio moon is about that's what kali is about that's what all of this is about and it's summertime coming up do you understand what i'm saying we not taking this fuck shit into the summer come june come june these, these june readings and these man month june i want to see my divine masculines really on a take back you know what i'm saying that way you can if you want to take back everything that you feel is yours I need you to match her fly. You understand what I'm saying? I need you to match. She had to grow up for you. Now it's time for you to grow up. But she ain't grow up for you. She grew up because she had no choice to. And now she's happier than she ever could be. If you want to find this Wonder Woman, you're going to have to match her energy. Physically and spiritually. You see what I'm saying? You have to pick your face up. Alright? So, I guess that was the prayer. Because, I, you know, God, I hope you... Okay. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Please. Because I just seem... <laughs> okay, whatever. God, give us guidance for the divine mask. <laughs> listen to me today, okay? Lita, Lita, Bonita. Listen to me, Lita. Okay? <laughs> My co-worker's name. My old co-worker name. Every time I used to see, I'd be like, Lita, Lita, Bonita, girl. Yes, that's my Spanish, Mamita. Yes. I don't know. What y'all listen? What divine man's name? What y'all talking to some Spanish girls? Hey. Ay, 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 puppy, ay. Ooh, puppy, ay. Where you? Ooh, puppy, ay. You flying. Ooh, puppy. What is it say? All must have prizes trying to please everyone. Oh, well, shit. Huh. It look like Divine Masculine ain't trying to please everybody no goddamn more. <laughs> shit, me. <laughs> All must have prizes. Shit. Shit. And then, you know, what? I also think that this is also addressing the, the, the fact that you guys, a lot of divine masculine, you guys think that everybody that you deal with, that there's a prize or that you can get something out of everybody. You understand what I'm saying? And, and that's not the case. You understand? You might go to somebody thinking that you getting some sugar and that shit might be some salt. You feel me? Sugar and salt look the same difference. Look the same damn difference. So don't be keep. Every, 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 I feel like this has to deal with temptation. I feel like one of the big lessons for the Divine Masculine was not trying to please everybody and meaning that with your penis. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you shouldn't just be easily, to be a top commodity, <laughs> to be a top commodity, you have to be rare. It has to be given out sparsely. You don't, you not top shelf. You understand? Like, you like Velocroft uh, <laughs> vodka. Like, that's being Velocroft vodka. Trying to put your dick out there and trying to serve everybody and please everybody. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you feel what I'm saying? Feeling all must have prizes. All, all, every, there ain't a prize in every goddamn Cracker Jack box, bitch. You understand what I'm saying? It might just be the same fucking sticker that you got last time. The same lesson that you learned last time. In a different Cracker Jack box. So don't be opening up every freaking box that is being offered to you. You know, trying to please everybody. Like, oh yeah, I got I got this good dick. I got this good dick. You want some of this good dick, dick, dick? You want some of this good dick, dick, dick? No. To me, I take that like somebody that just be on the internet. Just be like, oh yeah, I got a big old dick. You want to see my big old dick? 
big old dick. Everybody like this big old dick. Girl, you can't handle this big old dick. Like, no, that's... <laughs> seriously. Think of all the... Mm-hmm. That bitch got something. There's something up in her Cracker Jack box. I could get up out of there. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm trying to please everybody and trying to please yourself. Thinking that everything got sugar in that goddamn... Um, that it's sugar in the bag and it's goddamn salt. So... I feel like that was a big lesson for some of y'all. And then also, I feel like with y'all being like that right now, y'all done got yourself into a situation where you ain't trying to please everybody no more. Possibly trying to please everyone and thinking that there is uh, all must have prizes in it. All of the Cracker Jack boxes got a prize in it for me. Like, that's a very narcissistic mindset. Oh, it's, it's, it's got to be something in it for me. Now y'all in a situation where you feeling like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to please everybody no more. You ain't trying to give yourself to everybody no more. You are trying to be a rare, you know, top commodity now. And you realizing how precious that you are. And you're not trying to, it's like, no, I'm not kissing nobody's ass no more. I feel like you went out your way a lot due to this situation to try to keep peace and try to be an honorable person. But I feel like right now, motherfuckers, it's like, no, I'm not being no fucking honorable person. Like, ain't nothing in it for me. You know what I'm saying? And then that's still like a narcissistic kind of mindset. You see what I'm saying? Because there's a someone that's feeling like, I'm not about to sit here and keep feeding this goose, this goose. This. Like, this is someone that fed some bread to a goose. You understand what I'm saying? Fed some, <laughs> some bread to a goose, and now the goose is chasing them around all over the place and stuff like that. Now you're trying to get rid of the goose and stuff like that. But now, no, you got the goose now. Like, the goose is yours. You understand what I'm saying? So, it's just like, uh-uh. And you just like, no. <laughs> it's nothing in it for me. So, stop chasing me around. I'm not trying to please you no more. I'm not trying to keep feeding you. I'm not feeding. It's like someone fed a monster or something like that. And now this monster is plaguing them. And it's like, ain't nothing in this for me no more. You understand what I'm saying? But that's how you got into the situation anyway. Trying to please everybody. Feeling like what you had was the best thing since sliced bread. So you was giving your bread out. You understand what I'm saying? To all these pigeons, to all these birds. And now you got all this flock of birds chasing you. When really you got a desire for fucking um, 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 <laughs> seagulls or something. Like you don't want no, you don't want no street level birds. You want the birds that can fly. You understand what I'm saying? You want somebody, you want somebody that's, that can teach you how to fly. You understand what I'm saying? Hmm. Clarify all must have prizes in reverse, please. Trying to please everyone in reverse, please. Clarify this for the divine master for mid -man. Thank you. Yeah, that shit just like <laughs> you ain't chasing you like I ain't got no more bread. Like stop fucking chasing after me. <laughs> like you about to call the pest control or some shit to see what the fuck you can do with wild like it's like a wild goose. <laughs> wild goose hunt or something. <laughs> you got like a wild goose chasing after you and shit and you just like bruh like I'm done trying to please you and feed this beast to feed this monster. But you, but you was trying to please him. You know what I'm saying? You wanted to please everybody. Like, that's what you wanted to do. Dick, dick, dick. You want some dick, dick, dick. Dick, 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 dick. Dickelodeon, okay? Change the channel. Dick, 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 dick. Dickelodeon. That's what you was trying to do. <laughs> you was broadcasting your dick out there. Was you not? Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So what is this? The Nine of Cups in reverse. Like, you are not emotionally fulfilled or happy right now. And you're possibly drinking a lot right now. I feel like you're stressed out behind this shit, the sun. Uh-huh. You're finally, you know, illuminated to the fact that you're not happy. And I feel like you're possibly talking to, like, some counsel. Like, this seemed like your mother or something like that. Like, your mother and... Yeah, your mother and your aunt. 
you've been talking to your mother and your aunt a lot about what's going on it's like you just want happiness you just want sunshine and i feel like you feel like a kid all over again because you might possibly be living back with a mother or an aunt or something like that and it's like you're trying to get your happiness back you see what i'm saying and you're possibly chilling with your, I don't know if you drink with your, with your, with your mother and your aunt or some shit like that. But like you just, I feel like you do find, find happiness in just kind of being back with family a little bit. I feel like they might get on your nerves a little bit because you do seem a little bit unhappy. But at the same time, you're around people that you know love you and that you know that's going to give you good advice and things like that. And you kind of feel like a child all over again, kind of being schooled by your mom and your aunt. So... Yeah, because you know what I'm saying? she. This is Alice. But, of course, we're talking about the Divine Masculine. So, this is... Replace Alice with the Divine Masculine, okay? So, you know what I'm saying? It's like, he's unhappy. You know, he, he was unhappy with the situation. Now, he's feeling a lot better. He feels relieved. He feels... A, he feels the sunshine like the the sun is coming out the flowers are blooming a lot of things that which caused this unhappiness is being uh elevated i mean it, it's being illuminated to him and he's being um he's elevating because he's getting like the old school players they they like listen now you know good and goddamn well first off like i said they're, they're having this conversation over drinks but it's like, number one, I feel like drinking had a lot to do with some of the things that was going on with this person in their life. And they're like, they're telling it, they're telling this person, even though it's shit that they don't necessarily want to hear, but they know it's the truth. And I feel like this one is possibly like, you know what the fuck I did to fuck my life up. You know what I'm saying? And then here go the aunt just like telling you her stories about what the fuck she went through, what, you know as a woman dealing with men and as a woman on a woman's side like fucked up shit that women be going through and what women be feeling and i feel like you're getting two sides of the story you know what i'm saying i feel like one of them is your mom where it's like you already know what your mom's gonna say but this this the younger one over here the auntie like i feel like that's your best friend like that's your best friend and you might possibly be living with your auntie right now i really do feel like you're possibly living with your auntie um i was this the page of pentacles yeah yeah, you guys have been um look, picking up sandwiches. <laughs> look that up when I talk about bread. Bread. Like, y'all are picking up bread. You understand what I'm saying? You guys are... I really do feel like you're getting counseled by, your, by the elders in your family. You picking up a lot of bread. I really do feel like you guys have been increasing your income. And like you've been hunting, like uh, one of them little, you know, how rabbits just run around, you just always hopping around and stuff like that. I feel like you guys have been doing a lot of work, like you guys have been working hard, and I feel like you guys have been getting like, so how many pieces of bread is this? This is seven. You guys might have seven different, um, I feel like contracts or something like that. I feel like these are contracts. Bread on the floor, like you, you, you got a whole bunch of different offers on the floor. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole bunch of different offers on the floor. And I feel like you are like kind of... Figure out which one of these contracts that you guys want to take part of or something like that. I don't know if y'all can hear in the back. It's the um, YG song, um, Go Loco, Maria, Maria, Maria. It's that or the nigga with a fofo. Fo. Ah, Maria, Maria. Hey, I feel like shit going loco for you and your um, finances and career, though. Shit going loco. Shit going loco. But, like, you collecting stack. You, you, you stacking hay what the heck does stacking hay mean do people say that i definitely feel like y'all been going around y'all been focused on on y'all bread not only that i really i feel like y'all just single and i feel like y'all been putting breadcrumbs back out there too like Man, y'all feel like y'all back on y'all saying shit. Because I told y'all before, like, y'all was throwing bread out there. Y'all was throwing, like, y'all thought y'all was the best thing since sliced bread and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? 
And it was like y'all was just throwing breadcrumbs out there to all of the all of the birds. Like you was giving instead of reserving your bread so people can let you can appreciate your fine taste. Like you was throwing bread all on the floor to whoever will grab it, like trying to please everybody. Look at the bread all back on the floor again. Y'all back to the same old shit. Y'all might be back to the same old shit looking for us another solid. Looking for Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like cause yeah, yeah, y'all was tired of waiting. Y'all was tired of waiting. And you see that, um. Yeah, y'all was tired of waiting, and I feel like in this situation, you see how the, the card, whatever card that you was dealt here, it was, it really was, it was like kind of dead on arrival. You knew that this situation wasn't going to be nothing from the jump, and I feel like when you got the situation, you know, it was dead on arrival. For some reason, I feel like you didn't necessarily like the cards that you was being dealt, so that's why you was trying to paint the roses red. I feel like regardless of the situation, I feel like whatever the situation it was that you came out of, you knew from the beginning it wasn't going to be shit. I, I feel like that because it's like this, it's like this um, bird is just waiting for you to get caught trying to paint these roses red because they know like when you get caught in, in, in these motherfuckers and you get murdered, <laughs> or you, you, listen, death becomes her, whatever, like this person knew. There's dead meat out here. Because this motherfucker's doing something stupid. And it's about to ruin their whole life. And when they do, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to eat on them. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you, this per this bird knew you was going to get caught. You out here trying to make something that it's not. Jesus Christ, Christ, Christ. Okay. Try to make something that was not. And I feel like Divine Masculine is not anticipating a return on this shit anymore. Because I feel like... They ain't feel like getting caught up in no more bullshit. Like, you know, like, they knew it was some bullshit before they went into it. I feel like they should have never kind of invested and try to make something grow or try to make something be something that it, it's not. It just, it wasn't never even like that to begin with. So it was like, why am I sitting up here trying to wait for a positive return? Like I said, all must have prizes. All don't have motherfucking prizes. Do you feel what I'm saying? Listen, this person was trying to paint roses red on a situation that they know wasn't going to amount to shit. Trying to make something be something that it was not. Thinking, oh, well, shit, I'm about to get something out of it. All, all must have prizes. And no, you did. It didn't. It didn't. You was dropping motherfucking <laughs> bread to the birds, and now you can't get rid of the fucking bird. And it's like, now you just, you don't even have any patience. You just, you know, it's just, it's, it's like, I feel like someone got caught up trying to paint the roses red. And I, and I feel like, I feel like they got caught trying to paint the roses red. And it's not something that they want to spend time on. And these pinnacles, it looks like a, a compass to me. Like north, south, east, west type of thing like that. I feel like they're trying to find a new direction. And I think that they've, they've learned about the whole thing right here. It's like they learned with this car. Not investing time and in waiting on something to grow that they knew it was dead on arrival. And they knew it's like not investing your time and waiting to benefit off of something that you know from the jump was a motherfucking fraud. Like you knew you knew you was getting yourself into something. Like why would you even try to paint something? Why are, you, why are you trying to paint a different picture of it than what the fuck you know? You know what I'm saying? You, you, if someone try to paint a different picture and just settling, you know what I'm saying? It's like someone just painted a different picture to make them feel good about the situation and just kind of settle. And I feel like this divine masculine, they might be putting it, they putting their breadcrumbs out there again like that because they trying to bag something. They trying to bag, they trying to bag something solid again. But I feel like. 
they might be a little bit impatient possibly because they want to get out of maybe their auntie or their mom's house or something like that because it's like I'm having good, I'm having fun, I'm having a lot of counsel and shit like that. I'm getting what I need, but I'm not a child, kind of. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, they are kind of unhappy in their current surroundings because, you know, they're not a child. And I feel like they're putting their breadcrumbs out there, trying to see what bird is going to bite again. And it's like, I kind of feel like and you're being impatient. You're being impatient and... You need to be careful because it's like, are you really learning from what you just did? Or are you about to do the same dumb ass shit again? And then, because it's like, and because in, in, with your impatience, it's like you're just throwing yourself out there again. Just trying to see if you can get somebody to bite. But remember what you just got yourself out of. You running from fucking pigeons and shit like that saying that. Ain't nothing in it for you and you, you ain't trying to please this motherfucker no more. So, I feel like this vulture follows you. This vulture follows you in every situation that you invest yourself in. Because they know that whatever you do is dead on arrival because you ain't learned shit. You ain't learned shit and it's like, even though... You have this safe haven here and you getting this help and shit like that from your family and stuff. You're impatient and you're not happy. I understand that you... Because this is someone that had to move back home or something like that. You feel what I'm saying? This is someone who had to move back home. And it's like... We know you're not a child, but at the end of the day, they're trying to help you. Make sure that you are putting the correct thing in the bag. Don't just be putting yourself out there for anything because you're impatient. What happened to that shit? Well, oh, oh, Lord. Was that the fucking Knight of fucking Wands in reverse? I told you. The Queen. Of, ooh, and y'all got to deal with the Queen of Swords. Lord Jesus. He was the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so this is how you looking. You just look goofy as shit right now. <laughs> you looking hella goofy right now. You looking hella goofy right now. It's like you moving forward and it's like... You just look at hella goofy right now. Like, you on a dwarfed size pony. The, the pony belly looks so fat and just like, it's like gluttonous almost. Gluttonous. I feel like you might be a little gluttonous because clearly you have this night of fucking. You are put. Oh my gosh. You, 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 ooh, you about to get yourself right back in the same bullshit, sir. You about to get yourself right back in the same bullshit. And you're dealing with a queen of swords in reverse. So whoever this bitch is, she's pissed off. And this is possibly a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius woman that y'all are dealing with. And this bitch is pissed the fuck off. And either she cut you out or you cut her out. I don't know if you ran away. I mean, no, but it says all must have prizes. Not trying to please everyone. I feel like you're not trying to please this queen of um, this queen of swords. I don't know if if you left or if she left because you were cheating. Someone was someone was in and out. I mean, well, you were in and out. You were in and out. But I feel like I feel like you left though. I feel like you left because you were impatient and you were putting your shit out there. You were putting your shit out there looking for something new, looking for a new beginning elsewhere. And that's why you were putting the breadcrumbs out there trying to see who would bite because you were impatient. You didn't you weren't trying to paint the roses red no more, make something seem like it was something that it was not, even though it might have took you a long time to kind of like bag what it is that you wanted to bag. It's just like. I'm still moving forward. I don't give a fuck how long it take me. Like, I am being patient with myself. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person is being patient with their self. And why they're on their... Listen, why they're on this voyage, you know, trying to find something secure and solid. And, you know, where they can really invest something in the future. They fucking anything that they want to fuck on the, on the journey. 
like you know what I'm saying they taking a slow journey to financial security but they taking a quick fast in a, in a hurry in and out journey with whoever they fucking like they definitely out here on some player ass shit and I feel like this person sees that shit and this bitch is mad about that shit this person is mad and this, this man is not giving to them anymore let's get some let's get some more information why is this divine masculine this nine of cups emotionally unhappy right now excuse me y'all let me close the door I'm recording okay going on with the divine masculine of oh, expectations he's he says that this woman has expectations on him and and and, and, I, and this was in the reverse so i want to say that this was unrealistic expectations this person had unrealistic expectations and like this person is waiting for him to do or be something that he ain't trying to be because and i feel like he was I feel like that he did kind of mislead this person and put it on like he was going to be something that he wasn't. Because like I told you, he was painting the roses red in this situation. This situation wasn't, in, this situation wasn't going to be nothing in the beginning. Like, And I feel like almost every situation that this particular Divine Masculine ain't going to be shit. Because he has to change every situation with every female that he gets with. This, this, this death bird, this um, vulture follows him around because he know... Him and the bitch, it, it's just like this person leaves around dead carcasses. This person just, it's just like murders every fucking woman that this person, just, just, just goofy, just, just goofy, just a, a fucking goofy, whole ass goofy ass motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? Like, just trudging around and shit like, oh yeah, I'm offering you something. You not offering shit. The only thing that you offering is what? wet pussy and dry pockets that's it like and then as soon as and then you dip like you just no and understand this whoever this man is watching if this energy resonates with you this this vulture follows you in every relationship every situation every job every business venture everything because it's something about you where you have to wake up and make changes about yourself because you get in a situation with people and you try to paint things out to be something that is never going to be. And then you mislead people and you have people waiting, thinking that it's going to materialize to something that it's never going to materialize to. And then you don't have any patience and then you dip and you just leave dead bodies behind, you know, and that's not that's not cool. Why are you just moving around and you see this person got the frying pan on their stomach. They just moving around, trudging along about, you know, looking for somebody else to cook up. Looking for someone else to cook up, fucking dump, <laughs> leave behind bitter and mad. Like you can't do that. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. Okay, expectations, and then mature woman. This is in the reverse too. I, I guess I am gonna have to read these in the reverse because I'm definitely getting at these in the reverse. Um, I mean, he feels like. This person had unrealistic expectations on him. He feels like this person wasn't mature that they were dealing with. Okay? And they felt like their sudden wealth quickly faded away. And they, they're they not... It's like this person tried to change them and they didn't want to change. You see what I'm saying? It's like they, they, they avoid and change. Like they don't want to change. You know what I'm saying? Like... This person had unre this person had unrealistic expectations on them. This person really wasn't that mature. The money when they first got together it seemed like shit was popping, but then once shit got serious, it faded away quickly. And I just feel like maybe this woman doesn't want to change. You know what I'm saying? Ever he doesn't want to change, or this woman doesn't want to change. But I'm gonna say I feel like that this woman doesn't want to change. Because he feels like this woman isn't mature and this person has unrealistic expectations and isn't even mature enough. I feel like, and I, okay, yeah, yeah, I just heard this, this person, Divine Masculine felt like this woman that they were dealing with was not mature and did not want to change. 
Like this person didn't want to grow up. And I feel like that's what really brought that person unhappiness. And that's why the Divine Masculine is sitting over there talking to their family about this person. So whoever this is, like Divine Masculine is definitely over there talking a whole bunch of shit about you. <laughs> and whatever. And like the mother is, t is talking about. Yeah, I already knew that this shit wasn't going out the shit because bloop, 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 and the aunt talking shit about you and talking about bitches like that, that they knew like that when they were younger, you know what I'm saying? And they also are telling them about them, about Divine Masculine putting itself out there like that. Like you put yourself out there like that. And then you wonder why you attract the people that you attract because, you know, you put yourself out there thinking that, you know, all must have prizes. And they don't. And that's and I feel like this is the shit that your your family and it's look. Frying pan on your belly, just waiting to cook some eye up. Defeat it to yourself like this is gluttony, 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 gluttony. Look, gluttony, gluttony, sexual gluttony. Sexual gluttony. And I feel like you're answering. What the fuck? We surveyed 100 people the top five answers are on the board for you. Name a good reason. What? Bro, that was funny. And that was like church too. Oh my goodness. That was like my church service I was watching earlier. Child, somebody needs church. This man needs church. And then it was like what just popped up on the screen. It was like Jeopardy. It was like Jeopardy. It was like a, um, a commercial for my church or whatever But it, that they do. But it was like this person playing Jeopardy. And I really want to say that God is saying and just wanted me to really bring that message to you. It's like you're playing too much of a game with your life. You know what I'm saying? Like you're playing too much Divine Masculine. And you really need to stop this. You really do. Thoughts. There's something that you can't stop thinking about over here. Clarify his thoughts and then I'm going to go into this Queen of Swords. Clarify the thoughts. You can't stop thinking about a child. You can't stop thinking about a situation with a child, with a, with a baby. You can't stop thinking about a situation with a child that you had with a lover that it just seems like... Yeah, you can't stop thinking about this child in the house. So you can't stop thinking about... This baby that was created with a somebody that wasn't someone that you love. It was just, I feel like this was just someone that you was fucking just because you needed somewhere to stay. I feel like this was someone that you was just fucking because you needed a home. It's like you can't stop thinking about this shit. It's like... But this baby, you know what I'm saying? This baby, I had, like, this person might have had a baby with someone that they don't even love just because they were looking for a home or just because they needed a home or something like that. Do you see what I'm saying? But it was definitely with somebody that they do not, they didn't love this person. It was just one of their lovers. It was just one of their lovers. It was just one of their lovers. And I feel like that's why they're not trying to paint the roses red no more. But still, it's like they still have to deal with this household because there was a child that was produced off of this situation. And it's like they can't stop thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? It's like plaguing thoughts. But that thoughts in the reverse, it's like plaguing thoughts about this child or this lover in this house. You know what I'm saying? Like almost like they don't think they don't want to think about this child, this lover in his house no more. Clarify the Queen of Wands, family room. I mean not Queen of Wands, clarify this Queen of Swords and this Knight of Wands in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse and Knight of Wands in reserve. Family room. So yes, this is definitely they have a family together. Clarify the, the Queen of Swords in reverse, please. Uh-huh. This divine masculine is the queen of swords, main man. Okay, so again, this is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius um, woman. All right, main man. And there's some messages of concern. Okay, imprisonment. 
someone might be going to jail. Main female. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, this bitch about to try to send your ass to jail, Slam. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, if y'all if y'all don't what y'all not about to leave this girl with this child. I'm about to tell y'all this right now. She'd rather see you in jail and get no money than to let her didn't didn't no, she not about to do that. She's she's trying to see if I feel like this person is trying to see if she could throw you in jail. How she could throw you in jail just because you're not in a house no more and you don't and it's like you might have told this person or this person knows like all of these deep thoughts that you have in you that you I don't feel like you didn't and, and, it, and it might be just because you're not thinking about the child like I feel like you're not thinking about this woman and you're not thinking about this child like I feel like you're you're possibly going on about your life like they don't even exist possibly you know what I'm saying like because you see the seven of pentacles that's someone that just ain't have patience and kind of cut their losses and just walk the fuck away from a situation you know what I'm saying like it was a short harvest it didn't come out the way that they thought it was going to be you know what I'm saying like it didn't and this person knows that they don't love them and it has something to do with this you know what I'm saying this house like y'all lived with each other y'all lived with each other Y'all lived with each other. A child was produced. A child was produced. You ain't. And this person looks at you as you are nothing but a whole ass nigga. You just keep running in and out, running in and out, running in and out of this house. Do you see what I'm saying? And you just treating them like you just like they're just a lover, even though that y'all have this child, you know. And it's like, but hold on, we have a family. And like this man, man is like, uh, do we? <laughs> Like, no, for real, she's just like, but we have a family and you're my main man. Do you see what I'm saying? And it's, and, and, and it's like. <laughs> it might be. Oh, shit. And I'm also getting information here that some of you guys, some of the women receive, whoever this queen of swords is that has this family with this man, that that's, that's their main man. This person most definitely has another woman. I mean, he, I mean the queen, the king, the knight of, of wands, for God's sake, in reverse. Like, this person is not, doesn't see that there's anything in it with you anymore. And we already seen that this person was putting their breadcrumbs out there. And I told you that this person was, was out there giving out dick on the platter. This motherfucker might have received a message from a whole nother woman trying to say, This nigga is mine. I got him. I got him. This is my man. I got him locked in. From somebody else, that's a main woman, but it ain't you, bitch. You see what I'm saying? And I definitely feel like that's what pissed this. That's that's what that's what pissed this shit off. This person was running in and out, running in and out, and completely got this this Queen of Swords fucked up. And now she's on a rampage. Like she's like on some seek and destroy ass type shit. Like she's to the point where it's like, you done created this baby with me. You out here having all of these lovers and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? This woman is expecting him to be the main man to her because they have this household together. They have this family room and everything. But yet she keep getting all of these cons these messages come of concerns from other women that think that they're the main woman as well. Or you or you found messages. You found messages. Wow. But I definitely feel like because of this, because the man is not with this woman, this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're not with this woman. And like I told you, they're definitely putting this shit out there because they're trying to move the fuck out of their auntie or their aunt's house or their mother's house, whoever's house that they're living in. It's like they appreciate the counsel and everything, but they're not a child. It's like they're trying to get the fuck out of there. You see what I'm saying? And um, 
they're kind of just throwing their bait out there to anyone that are, like they about to put themselves right back in the same situation right back in the same situation and this gemini um libra or aquarius woman it's like you not just about to go and leave me behind and leave me with this baby and not think about us while you putting yourself out there trying to go fuck up a bitch it's just like yeah you're going to jail like this person is going to find a way to especially if you don't pay child support or whatever she's going to get you lost she she will see by it she will make sure of it she will make sure of it because it's like you just riding along acting like you about to you 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 go and try and find some other some other body yeah like some other body like you trying to find somebody else to cook up the emperor yeah you're supposed to be the protector. You're supposed to be the leader. You're supposed to be a good father. You're supposed to be the provider. You know, that's who you, you are. Like, you're most definitely a father. Like, this divine masculine is most definitely the father to this queen of swords. Um, kids or a child. Three of coins. This emperor is trying to figure out a way how to make things work. I feel like for everybody, because there's most definitely three people involved there's three people involved i feel like and it has something to do with their family i feel like it's possible that their family doesn't get along with this queen of swords right here they don't get along because like i told you the divine masculine is talking shit like they talk shit about this one this one has got unrealistic expectations the bitch is not mature ever since you got what her, your um money just dwindled this person is it don't want to change. You know what I'm saying? This person don't want to grow up. This person is trying to send you to jail. I feel like they're telling their aunts, like, this person knew I was just coming over there to have a place to live, that we were just lovers. I don't know why, what this person was thinking about going and getting pregnant. I'm talking to other females, and she's messaging them, talking about, oh, I'm the main woman, and we're, I'm not even with her no more. It's like shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like, but at the end of the day, you still got this child here, so you have to deal with this person regardless. It doesn't matter if you ain't trying to please them no more. It's like, you got to be a good father, and you got to figure out a way to work this out. And I feel like that's, like, y'all might possibly be going to... Yeah, I mean, I feel like you're going, I mean, this hermit, like, you're going to have to come out of hiding and you're going to have to, like, face this girl in court and just notice this bitch is going to try to rip your whole fucking life apart. I feel like y'all went and had a baby by someone that, like you said, the divine masculine does not deem this woman as mature and she's going to take you for your coins. She's going to take you for your coins. So you can't hide from this person. Knight of Cups. You know, um, I feel like... What is... Oh, the Knight of Cups and the Devil and the Judgment. Oh, gosh, Jesus. Okay, so it's like... I feel like right now your biggest problem is is that you have a un... Like, you have, like, a sex addiction. You have an uncontrollable desire for attention and sexual gratification from a lot of different people it's like you almost cannot stop it's like you cannot stop going from one to the next to the next to the next i feel like anyone who gives you attention you fall in love with anyone that gives you attention or anyone like you just like i said trying to please everyone you feel like what you got between your legs is the best thing since sliced bread and you just be putting your bread all out on the floor like that and it's like an uncontrollable urge like you cannot it's just bad judgment it's bad ju listen it's bad judgment and i'm trying to tell you whoever this divine masculine is you are creating a shitload of bad karma for yourself because you got to understand who are you and let it control your life this is the devil in reverse honey this is toxic this is aiding and embedding you too like your future detriment and i'm going to tell y'all because i've been seeing a lot of shit about people needing to go to the fucking doctor i'm going to tell y'all y'all keep on along this path y'all gonna end up with something that y'all can't get rid of and i'm i'm dead serious and i'm not wishing that on nobody i'm telling you that because i done seen this shit pop out too many times And, it's, and when I keep seeing this shit, I keep trying to tell y'all, this shit sounds like a herpes epidemic waiting to happen in your city. Like, come on. 
why you can't just find one person that you want to offer your cup to and just offer your cup to that person and be with that person why you gotta gallivant and offer your cup to literally anyone that wink their eye at you and you know that it's a bad you know that it's a bad decision to do but yet you do it any fucking way you do it any fucking way anyway regardless of the karma regardless of the drama you hopping from house to house, pillow to pillow to pillow to pillow to pillow. Like, come on. Get your life together. Get your own shit. Number one. Because if you had your own shit, you wouldn't be over at your mama or your auntie house or whoever house you at. Having to put bread out there trying to catch new bait. Like, that's what you're doing right here. You don't have nothing and you don't want to give to this person that you done created this baby with no more. So now you are... About to do, but you about to go do the same thing about to impregnate a whole nother bitch. What are you doing with your life now? What are you doing? What are you doing with your life right now? That judgment is in the reverse. Like you are not. And I'm trying to tell you, whoever this is, sir, if you don't get yourself together, you are creating some fucked up karma for you. And I'm I'm trying to tell you, what you are creating for yourself is not something that is going to be reversed. And for the rest of your life, you're going to be regretting this dumb shit that you were doing in your 20s and 30s for the rest of your fucking life. For the rest of your fucking life. And I have to stress that shit to you. Like, this is not Jeopardy. This is not. And that's why I think that that, that church sermon came on in that commercial. Because this is not a game. This is not a game. You talking about this person has unrealistic expectations and, and this person is immature and they don't want to change. And this person bought you um, um, something bad um, uh, uh, wealth. You need to change. It's like it don't like 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 it's like it's like you going to your auntie and your mama's house and you go and talk to them every fucking day, but it's like still you still doing the same fucking shit that got you the same place that you at right now. Then wedding. This situation involves marriage just popped out. Give me additional guidance for the divine masculine. What is this at? Let go of control issues. You're not letting go of your toxic of your toxic You have certain addictions. You have issues that you need to let go of. And it's like you you and behavior patterns. Behavior patterns. And it's like you're not re ready to release them. You're not willing to release them. And you need to stop letting your friends. I feel like your face says let your friends help you. But this is in reverse. Keep your friends the fuck out of your business. Keep your friends out of your personal life in regards to your relationships and shit like that. Your friends are haters. You got friends that don't. Listen. I feel like y'all got a meddling friend, somebody that, um, true love. Yeah, you did. I feel, I feel like you, you have a meddling friend that gets in the way of you deserve love. I feel like it's someone that you really love, someone that you want to marry, right? There's someone that you really love, someone that you want to marry, right? And I feel like you need to let go of holding on to shit that you know that is getting in the way of this. And a lot of this shit is your fucking friends. A lot of it is your friends. You need to let go of control issues and you need to get rid of friends and stuff like that. That get in the way because this person meddles. This person meddles. And, and then deception is at the bottom of the fucking deck. There's deception there with this friendship. And they, they meddle and I feel like they get in the way of you finding true love because they possibly may feel like someone is taking you away from them. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I want you to stop involving your friends in your love life. Seriously. And, and, and honestly, I don't even really truly feel like this person is your friend. I, this person is very deceptive. And I feel like that, you know, this person might have a crush on you or something like that. You see what I'm saying? So you need to watch that. You need to watch that. You need to watch that because there is someone that you love because it does say you deserve love. 
and it is someone that you have desire for that you want to send an arrow over there to but this this person that's your true love it's never going to be if you continue to allow your friends to have a stake in your relationships they influence your decisions and you need to let go of your constant desire feeling like you need somebody to talk you better talk to the right people people that mean you well mean you well because this situation with the one that you really love this situation involves marriage this situation could elevate to marriage you understand what i'm saying but it's just like you're not willing to let go of the things that you know that get in the way of this thing you know really blossoming and for you to really experience this true love with this person and it's all because of your friends it's all because of people that you allow to meddle when you know that you deserve this love you know that you deserve this love and i feel like honestly if you could have the true love that you would that you truly deserve because you are lovable like you are if you could get the right love that you deserve i feel like a lot of this foolishness would abruptly stop it would stop but you allow your environment, codependency, you, 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 you're not able to release codependency. And I feel like a lot of the women that you date, you're just using them. Because it says you just was fucking with this girl because she was just somebody that you was fucking, and that you fucked around and got pregnant because you needed a place to stay. You needed some a house to live under. And this woman was never the main, even though this woman thinks she was the main female, she was never the main female. Never. You're not even attracted to this person. Stop. Listen. Stop fucking with people that you're not even attracted to. Oh, my God. We're not even dealing with this. We're not because I'm not even about to do that. I'm not about to do that because I'm not even about to get into that. I'm not even about to get into that. But for real, this is someone that is a user. You see what I'm saying? They feel like their dick is the best thing since sliced bread. And they know... That they can use their dick for a place to live and a hot plate and a pack of cigarettes. You see what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. And this person done fucked around and got pregnant with someone that they was just fucking. That was just one of their lovers. Just one of their many lovers. This person never stopped being this Knight of Wands in reverse. Never. Never. And they're not even attracted to the person. It's a codependent situation and it's something that this woman, this, this queen of swords in reverse, this person does something for them financially that, you know, like this person helped be, what's the tea? Both. Money or property through inheritance, winning or windfall. Yes, like I'm trying to tell you the only reason why they was fucking with this queen of swords is for money, property, and inheritance. What they could inherit. You know what I'm saying? Hills. Obstacles. Yeah. <laughs> they were trying to get over the hill. They were trying to get over the hump. Do you understand what I'm saying? They were going through obstacles that they needed to overcome. And they felt like if they took the boat, they hopped on your boat, that money, property, through inheritance, winning, or windfall, they felt like they would have came out like a fat rat. You know what I'm saying? And they were already going through obstacles in their life. You helped them through their obstacle in their life. What is this unicorn? Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. You have to like really, really be different. You have to be rare. You have to do something that you rarely do and use your intuition to kind of, you know, get this out of get this out of your system and make beneficial changes because you're still in the same boat, Divine Masculine. You're still in the same boat. You're still in the same boat. And it's like you can't keep trying to inherit prosperity and abundance through that's not the way that you do it heart great happiness all right and just make let me just i'm sorry i gotta look at this again but money property through inheritance winning obstacles to overcome use your intuition and make beneficial changes yeah you're still in the same boat you're still trying to get over the same hills you have to be unique this time divine masculine you have to do shit differently if you keep doing the same shit you're going to keep getting the same shit in a different toilet and i feel like you don't you 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 fucked over the wrong person this time because this person is going to see to it that you pay legally all right so it's like this person sees you harping over your great happiness. And I feel like this is 
You know what I'm saying? Like, no. And I feel like that's why the Queen of Swords is in the reverse. And you are experiencing great happiness right now. Dogs, getting together with your friends. Yeah, like I said, you back at home or you back over your auntie house and you're happy and you hanging out with your friends and stuff like that. What does it say? Bird perch, waiting on news, package or a letter. And I feel like y'all waiting on something. Like I said, y'all are, you know, putting yourself out there. Y'all are working hard, most definitely. And you seen that page of pentacles. You know what I'm saying? That rabbit putting it bread out there like that. You understand? Dagger, fears, worries, a tense situation. So I feel like it's something that is like a dagger in your heart almost. You know, you have fears and worries over a tense situation. Clearly, you're dealing with someone that you have a child with. And this person is unhappy. And I feel like this person is determined to make your life a little bit of a living hell. And I feel like they are perch bird. I feel like they're waiting on news, a letter, or a package or something like that. I feel like they're kind of waiting on... They're waiting. I feel like this person, and you've seen imprisonment here, like this person is waiting on, they want to see justice in regards to what happened. They want to see that. But it's like at the end of the day, you have fears and you have worries about that because it's a tense situation. But at the end of the day, you're being that purge bird and you're waiting for good news in regards to all of those job opportunities and those contracts. Like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys have a lot of contracts that are coming in, a lot of money that's laying on the table. And I feel like you guys are waiting to see if certain things are accepted, like if people are accepting bids or things like that. And I feel like you are waiting for those good news and you are hanging out with your dogs and you are Harping over just being happy right now. And I, because I do feel like you you guys are happy about the separation. If there was a separation here, that would, you know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't, you, it was just, you were just living with the person. That's the way this divine masculine looks at this situation. Like they were just living with each other and fucking. And like, dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark hair or, or complexion. All right. Any more guidance? Egg. Success is short with good plan and hard work. All right. Give me information. Flute. Disappointment. In a friend of love. Ooh. Ooh, bitch, this some tea. Hold on. Door. Opportunities are waiting for you. Grasshopper. Situation. In the balance that require careful hands and will. Great worry over nothing. Strong emotions. Whoa. Okay. So I feel like whatever this is that you guys. Because I feel like. The Divine Masculine looks at this Queen of Swords like she's a fucking liar about something. He feels like she's lying about something. And there's a dealing with a dark... It's a dealing or relationship with the man with dark complexion or dark hair. I don't know if this is the Divine Masculine. If the Divine Masculine has dark hair or dark complexions or if the queen because it's queen of swords in reverse she can be known for someone to be promiscuous sneaky liar manipulating you know what i'm saying so she could have been like that and he like they were like kind of like on on the same level with deceit and shit because it says disappointment in a friend or a lover Success is short with good plans and hard work. So I feel like there's a dark skin or dark hair man in regards to the situation with this egg. And there might be disappointment there. Okay. There might be disappointment. There might be disappointment in this dark man. Okay. But I feel like with careful planning and stuff like that, that y'all can overcome this situation because there's a, there's an egg in a nest here. You see what I'm saying? So there has to be careful planning and things regardless of how disappointed you are in this person. I feel like there's something more important in 
this basket here that has to be attended to. So, like, success is assured with good plan and hard work. You know, like, you got that egg in the basket with this dark man. And even though you're disappointed in this friend or lover, it's like you, you can still be successful. You know what I'm saying? It says opportunities are waiting for you. This situation in the balance requires requires careful handling so whoever this dark haired man is i feel i just heard it's a friend a friend who is this friend that's the dark haired man I feel like someone feels like a door, an opportunity was open with a dark man. And you're very disappointed in this friend. You're very disappointed in this friend. But you feel like this situation is in the balance and requires careful handling. And you're worrying over nothing. It says the whale, great worry over nothing. Like you're the biggest fish in the sea. You're the biggest fish in the sea. And you're having a great worry over nothing. Because I feel like you have this handle. And I, I feel like there's some sneaky shit going on. It says strong emotion, passionate love or hate. It's some strong, like, y'all Y'all fire is burning. I feel like the Divine Masculine is disappointed in a dark man. Either he's brown-skinned or he's brown-skinned with long hair or he's brown. Either he's brown-skinned with short hair. Just, just brown skin. I just see a brown skin dude with like short hair or with like long hair and facial hair. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like dark features or a light skinned man with just like a lot of dark features. You know what I'm saying? Like the eyes are dark, a lot of facial hair. Like, you know, one of them dudes with the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the beard gang club. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. The divine masculine is disappointed in this in this dark man. Cause I that's like his friend. That's his friend. And I feel like they've known each other since they were kids. You know what I'm saying? Since they were like eggs in a basket or something like that. Like they've known each other for a long fucking time. And I feel like it's like you I feel like y'all are watching this situation. It's like almost like y'all are. It's like you got strong, it's like a strong love-hate relationship with this person. Y'all have a strong love-hate relationship with this person. And it's like regardless, you know that you're the biggest fish in the sea. So you ain't worried like that, like that. But it's like your relationship with this person. It's like you're disappointed and you're having to deal with this very, very delicately. Because I feel like it's fragile. And whatever this person did, like, you're very disappointed in this person. I hope this person, ooh. Give me additional guidance about this dark person. I just seen something fall. It says... It says, Lion, it's time to act. Gong. An exciting event is coming up. And Candle, you will be shown the way. So, it's time to act. <sighs> Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. Okay, I feel like something is going to happen at an event. Peacock, be, care be careful of your pride. Okay. You guys, something is going to be revealed at an event. At a event with this egg. Might be a baby shower or something. 
at an exciting event. It's like it's going to be time to act. It's like something is going to be revealed at an event. And because that egg in the basket, I take that like, man, I really take that like a baby shower or something like that. And it's like you're going to be disappointed in a friend or lover. Either this is your friend that you're disappointed with or you're going to see a dark-headed man that you feel like has something to do with your lover. And it's like, I feel like you guys are going to just be sitting back, just like peeping the situation like shit. And y'all not going to be saying nothing because I feel like it's going to be an opportunity for you to kind of figure out how you're going to maneuver through this situation. And it's like, aha, I done figured it out. And it's going to burn. Listen, it's like whatever it is, it's going to spark some strong, passionate love, hate. And you know what I'm saying? It's going, it's going to burn you and you're gonna realize it's time to act right now it's time to act it's gonna open up that animal that animalistic shit and it's just like some it's like it's, it's like someone hit the gong boing like it's like almost like a lightning strike it hits you exactly what the fuck is going on and it's like you gonna have this out of body experience and you gonna be shown the way I feel like you're going to see a lot of candles and everything and that shit is going to have significant meaning to you now. And I feel like I feel like you guys are probably going to be praying over candles a lot and spirit is going to tell you like whatever the fuck is about to happen right here. Control your anger or you will be sorry and be and be be careful of your pride. Your pride and your ego, y'all. Something's going to come out at an event. I want to say it's a baby shower because I'm sorry that egg in the basket. I'm just like egg success with good success is short with good plans and hard work. So whatever this situation is, someone feels like fears and worries, a tense situation, harping, bird perch. That's why I said you you watching something. Y'all watching something. Y'all watching something. Y'all watching somebody, and it's like. Y'all are trying to figure y'all trying to figure something out. Yeah, I feel like it's y'all don't trust this one. And I feel like that's why y'all like y'all don't trust this person. Cause this is a male's reading, this is the bi-masculine's reading, and for them to have a dark haired man out there it's either your friend that you watching and you don't trust or there's a dark haired person or there's a dark person that's around this queen of swords let me keep going let me keep going let me see um let's see what the let's see what the divine masculine Let's see, what does the five masculine have to say to this um, person that they're dealing with? What are thoughts on divine masculine's mind? And y'all, this video gonna be long, so. Cause we probably damn near in an hour in now. You've been in my dreams. So whoever the divine masculine has been thinking about, you've been in my dreams. You feel like home to me. Whoever this person is, the divine masculine has been thinking about. You've been in my dreams and you feel like home to me. This is the person that divine masculine has been thinking about. The person that divine masculine loves. Okay. I'm a better person because of you. Are you? It seems like you're still doing the same shit though. Give me additional guidance. And it says, I need more time to figure things out. Respect. Whole ass respect on that. Respect divine masculine. I'm going to leave that right there. Because this is like divine masculine. Is like, I feel like divine masculine is like, I know I ain't shit. And I know I ain't shit. And it seems like they, they done got themselves into a situation. They done got themselves into a situation. And, if, and it's like you're getting yourself locked up on a codependent situation with someone that you're not even really attracted to. Like you never even intended to get this woman. You're not even attracted to the person for real, for real. 
Like, this is a hard motherfucking lesson, don't you think, for you to learn? And stop fucking with people that you're not attracted to just because you feel like all oh, must have prizes in it. No, that's 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 evil. And now you see what situation you got yourself into. I feel like this is, um, the person is dealing with divine master. How do they feel? Uh, you're all I ever wanted. This person feels like you're all I ever wanted. I can't, but they can't take this no more. I feel like there's a third person though. There's a third person though. That's this one. That's this one. How does the one that divine masculine thinking about? How does the one that divine masculine is thinking about? How do they feel about divine masculine? Because there's three different people here. There's three different people here. Cause it's like it's it's like that wedding card is right there. But don't nothing up there say nothing about wedding. But yet it's someone that Divine Masculine wants to marry. But they realize this is a lot of people and it's a lot of situations and a lot of things about them. They have to stop being codependent. They have to stop dealing with people that they know that they don't want to deal with just because they think that they can benefit something out of it. Like they have to do a lot of cleaning up about their self. There is someone that they currently have to deal with. There's someone that they want to deal with. Because they're saying that I'm a better person. Who's the per the person that divine masculine loves? How do they feel about divine masculine? How does the person that divine masculine love feel about divine masculine? It says you've affected my life significantly. How does the person that divine masculine love feel about divine masculine? You're the only person that truly gets me. Yeah, y'all have a very deep connection. How does this person feel that divine masculine loves? How does this person feel? Am I good enough for you? This person feels like they were never good. That divine masculine made them feel like they were never truly good enough for them. It says, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Yeah, they like they feel like divine masculine never made them feel like they were enough and they just weren't cut out for that type of relationship. And it says, oh, but they say you still take my breath away. So <laughs> So it's like you got one over here that feels like you're all that I ever wanted, but I can't take this no more. Okay? Because clearly she cut you out or you cut her out because you was out there whoring around, putting your bread out there. So I, have a, you are, I feel like you were already out the door. It don't even matter if she decided later to cut you out or not. You were already doing you. And that's why she said that she can't take this no more. But, you know, that you are all that they, they ever wanted. But Divine Masculine ain't even attracted to you. And the, the situation was just codependent. It was about... Divine Masculine feeling like all must have prizes. You know what I'm saying? And that they were trying to please anyone that wanted to be pleased. And anyone that was going to let them in their house. You know what I'm saying? Like they were they, they going to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? But the other one feels like you still affected my life significantly. You're the only person that truly gets me. But am I good enough for you? I don't feel like I'm cut out for this. And you still take my, my, my breath away. And you know how hard that has to be? To be with someone, the one person in this world that you feel like you don't have to explain yourself to. That they understand your upbringing. They understand why you tick, why you react the way that you do, who you are. But no matter how much of that deep connection it is that this person would not stop cheating on you. This person would not be loyal to you. And it made you feel like. Well, shit, am I? It, 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 it fucks you up self-esteem wise. You know what I'm saying? And it's like when you are a, a confident person within yourself and you know good and goddamn well, it's like, you know, 
you know good and goddamn well I'm a good person. It ain't me. It's something about them that I'm not good enough for them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why sit there in a situation where you're going to continually be cheated on and feel like what you're doing and what you're giving is not enough? Maybe you're just not cut out for this situation. And it's like, yeah, this person knows me like this person knows me like the back of their hand. But at the same time, I'm not cut out for this level of disrespect. You know what I'm saying? And they still take their breath away, but it's like at the end of the day, they feel like they could never, they could never be good enough for you. And it's like, why compete? You know? Why compete? And even this one over here, even this one is feeling like shit. You're all I ever wanted, but they can't even take it no more. So it's like, like I told you, every single relationship that you have, it's like that vulture is lurking over top the vulture is lurking over top of these relationships it's almost like they're doomed because it's like they they fail before they even begin because it's something about you with this knight of wands and reverse this horn as energy like you have to change that i'm sorry give me guidance um how does divine masculine feel about this one right here this one that says that all I, you're all I ever want and I can't take this anymore. How does Divine Masculine feel directly about this one? I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. Okay? It says, I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. Please don't take what happened personally. It's me. It's not you. It's me. I feel like the Divine Masculine walked away from this person they've been looking them up online to see what they've been up to that i think that's has something to do with the t because i told y'all the t like the divine masculine is watching someone closely and it's something that's going to go down at an event i don't know if the event already just happened I don't know if this baby is here, if it's a baby shower, or if it's something that happened at a baby shower, or if it's something that happened in an event where there's like a lot of family or friends or just people, but they were watching someone. They were watching someone. And and it's like, I've been looking you up online to see what you've been up to. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. I feel like in this situation, I do feel like the divine masculine feel like they met their match, like they they got their karma in this situation with this person. They feel like they finally getting the consequences of their actions. And, and, and I'm trying to tell you that the queen of swords in the reverse, I don't know if she's just the queen of swords in reverse because she's just angry because he was out there being a whore or if she was just a cold manipulative non-committal person as well you see what i'm saying but for whatever reason the vibe masculine is most definitely watching this person and and they have children together so they're watching this person it says your intensity frightens me and allures me all at the same time so in regards to this person right there the one that divine masculine loves that person's intensity frightens and allures them all at the same time Ooh, okay. It says, I just have to try something else right now. Please try to understand. All right. And it says, I'm not the same person that you remember. All right. So I feel like. And then this is what popped out at the on the floor. It says, is it possible to forgive and forget? I feel like divine masculine kind of wants to offer friendship to this one. It's like, and it was this other stuff that it said, I screwed things up and I honestly have no idea how to fix it. What else it is? Something is still missing from me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. I'm reminded of you constantly and I want to be authentic. I am no longer afraid. I feel like the divine with that situation, that's the one that they really love right there. That's the one that they really love right there. I feel like this was a mistake. Not a mistake, it was a lesson, but I feel like 
I, you know, I'm sorry. I feel like it was a mistake. Because they're telling this one that they screwed things up and they have no idea how to fix it. And something is still missing. It's something in this divine masculine that where they go out and they keep searching and searching and searching and searching. Looking for... Trying to lure something in that's going to attract and fulfill them. And I feel like maybe it's that they're addicted to having people chase after them. Trying to lure people in. I feel like it's in the... It's like they're looking for some level of fulfillment that they're just not getting. And it's like they don't know how to stop chasing it. It's like... I don't know. It's like I don't know if it's a sex addiction. It's something. It's something. Give me guidance for this divine masculine, Lord Jesus. And we're going to wrap this up, y'all, because I know this is getting pretty long here. We're going to wrap this up. Give me guidance in regards to this divine masculine for love. Loyalty, yeah. This whole situation was teaching them about loyalty. The ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. I feel like the one that was loyal to them. I feel like at that time that they never appreciated them, that they really should have but that ugly duckling grew up to be a swan and i feel like this whole journey for them taught them loyalty like they had to go through the dark to see the light of the situation that loyalty has more price has more weight and gold you know what i'm saying it's worth the price that you know what i'm saying that you pay for loyalty you understand what i'm saying it has its weight and gold you know so don't judge a book by its cover. I feel like the things that they were running out there chasing weren't loyal to them, didn't. There's no honor amongst thieves. That's all I'm going to say. And they had to go through the darkness to realize that it's all about loyalty. Jesus Christ. I'm, that's my sister. She won't be mad at she. She be like, bitch. <laughs> that's my ghetto little sister. She be like, look, bitch. I don't give a fuck about what you doing on YouTube, bitch. I answer this motherfucker. <laughs> nail. They feel like the nail is being hammered in the coffin. They feel like they're being crucified right now. 11-11. Spiritual awakening. You're on the right path. Mm -mm, they might be seeing 11-11. They've been... I feel like... The, <laughs> The divine masculine has been taught a hard lesson to a hard lesson to, okay, <laughs> has been taught a hard lesson in loyalty and recognizing beauty, recognizing beauty. You know what I'm saying? And right now they feel like you know they're they're being crucified. That the hammer is being you know nailed into the coffin. The nail is being hammered into the coffin. But I feel like this whole situation has woke has awakened them spiritually. And oh, okay. Oh, what does it say? Bridge, reconciliation. But this was backwards. And um, I feel like they're trying to get over the bridge. They're trying to get over a bridge, and maybe that because I don't really know how this came out. Let me, because I want to say that that shit came out in the reverse. But I feel like they're trying to get over a bridge. I feel like there's somebody that they want to reconcile with and there's someone that they they don't want to cross that bridge again. You see what I'm saying? There's two different situations. There's, there's a situation where they're, they're never going to cross that bridge again and they realize that they're not going to cross that bridge again. And I feel like there is someone that they want to reconnect with because loyalty is on the table. And, you know, give me guidance thorns hardship divine masculine is going through a hard time right now 888 new opportunities and abundance are coming your way soon all right you're going through a lot of hardship right now and like i said you feel like you're being crucified but you're being taught loyalty how to be loyal you know what i'm saying there is no honor amongst thieves and y'all have to realize that rainbow you're being renewed there is a pot of gold at the end of this you know, at the end of this. Ooh, forbidden. Okay? Stop dealing with and playing with snakes. I, uh, like, stop. Stop being that snake in the grass because there is, there is a, ooh, then belt, punishment. I feel like 
you guys are going through this hardship because you did not display loyalty. You did not display loyalty. There's no loyalty in you with this Knight of Wands in reverse. You don't know how to be loyal. You don't know how to be loyal. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why you're being crucified right now. Spirit is crucifying you right now. So you might be going through an extreme hard time. You're going through a hardship right now. You know what I'm saying? To teach you about the correct path that you need to be on. You understand? And you're spiritually guided to recognize that until you are really illuminated to the changes that you need to make in your life, you're not going to bear strange fruit throughout this hardship. You're just going to continue to be scraped against the coals. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right now, even through your hardship, God still expects you to grow. But if you're not going to grow, like I said, Kali going to come and going to ask you, now, do you want to make this transition or do I need to make it for you? Ever you going to cut certain shit out or God going to cut it out for you? Do you understand what I'm saying? And if you think you're being crucified now, you ain't seen shit yet. You have not seen shit yet. God is giving you free will to stop some of the behaviors that you're doing and to clean up certain shit. And you can't just keep carrying people like, oh, no, I need to get myself together. Give me some time. No, the time is now. Stop it. Okay. And this did come out in the reverse, but I'm not going to read it to you in the reverse because I want to call them blessings in for you, Divine Masculine. New opportunities in abundance are coming your way soon. But notice that this was in the reverse. It was in the reverse because some of y'all are hard-headed and shit and y'all don't want to change. And that's why ain't nothing good coming to you. Notice, I'm telling you the truth. Listen, God wants you to go through renewal. Renewal. This came in an upright. You need to come in. You need to come in and renew yourself because you are a fucking snake in the fucking grass. And you know, a lot of the shit that you be doing is deceitful. And God is beating your ass for this shit. You know better than this. And you are better than this. If you want to continue to be the snake in the grass, you want to continue with that devil energy. Okay? That man has no power here. You can fight against him. You can fight against those urges. You can fight against those temptations. If you really want to change, if you don't want to change, you will continue to be crucified and God will continue to make you a lesson. Right now, what is happening, God is making you an example for other people that are around you of what not to do. You want to be an example of how God crucified you and for being a snake and will spank that ass. And you want to be the person that everybody be like, oh, well, you know, someone, someone, so want to get their shit together. You see how his motherfucking life turned out. Do you want to be like that or do you want to be the testimony? Like, listen, shit, I was crucified. I had to get my ass spanked for all of this snaky, deceitful, fucked up shit that I was doing to people. Yeah. As soon as I would come into people life, it was like dead on arrival because of my energy, because of what I was bringing to the table. But you know what? I had to get crucified and got laid across the coal for all to see in order for me to learn from my mistakes and other people to learn from my mistakes. So don't be like me. Be better than me. And I'm telling you what I went through and how many relationships and I lost the love of my motherfucking life for this bullshit. And Lord knows I'll never be able to find her. Again. I don't want this story to be your story. You need to grow up and understand that you have an opportunity to change and be a testimony versus a cautionary tale. To the people in your environment. I don't want you to be that cautionary tale. I don't want you to be a cautionary tale. And I'm keeping it 100. I don't want none of y'all to end up with no AIDS. End up with no fucked up shit. Because y'all out here horn. Because if you don't fucked around and had a baby with someone that you was just playing around with. That means you having unprotected sex with a lot of people. Y'all better wake the fuck up. I don't want y'all to end up with fucking herpes or nothing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Look, page of pentacles. Nothing is going to be offered to you that is going to be in your life solid and committed until you commit to change. And not only that, stop offering yourself to people that are not on your level. People that you don't want to be with just because you're trying to take advantage of them. That's what you've been doing. And that's why you've been really getting your ass back. Because you're fucking with people that you have, you're not even attracted to. They're not even on your level. And it's like you know from beginning because there's big differences here. You can easily manipulate these people and get away with what you're doing. And God sees everything. That's why you're being crucified right now. And that's why ain't nothing coming to you, Divine Masculine. Learn from this shit. Drop things that are not in your 
frame of mind of what you really want in your life and what you are solidly going to invest your time and that you feel like is going to be beneficial to your future if it's not someone that you love that is not beneficial to your future do not even participate in it if it's not a job or that you feel like you're going to put all your hard work in and you're going to finish it and see it through to fruition do not invest your time in it stop playing around with people and leaving them abandoned do you understand what I'm saying? Leaving a whole bunch of dead carcasses for the, for <laughs> vultures to feed on. That is not going to help you for anything. That's not going to help your ships to come in. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to release those things that are not serving you. You understand? Right now, you done created a child with a companion. All right? There's a child and there's a companion. Right? You done created a child in a, in, a, in a home environment with a companion. You better deal with that. And you cannot just walk away and just say, oh, I don't want, I don't. You can't do that. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. You have to still be a man and you have to be that emperor and you have to take care. I don't give a fuck if that's just someone that you just look at. It. That was just my dog. I am. The, 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 the child is still here. You have to take care of this situation regardless if you like it or not. Hermit. You know, you 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 can reserve yourself and you can go and, and heal and you can take time to yourself and get yourself together all you want to. But make sure that you get in wisdom. Make sure that you get in wisdom. Because if you're not going to come out of this situation more wise, nothing is going to pop off for you. Listen, there's not going to be like a new solid the job that you want is not going to come. Your money is dwindling. Like, this is someone that is like, nothing but bad luck is coming to them. Bad luck. Page of Cups. Like, even, even the shit that you're offering to people, people don't even want it. The fish is jumping back into the, the water. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like people are wise enough I feel like people seeing you go and create this child with this companion. All because you thought that you were going to come up off of some money or something like that. You felt this was someone that thought that they were going to come up off of some money or something like that. And that they were going to be able to live better by creating a child with a companion. When really you weren't offering nothing and you dropped them at the wayside anyway. It was codependent. It was cold fucking dependent. All because this person wanted riches and this person wanted a solid home environment. That's all it was founded on. That's all it was founded on. And people seen that. And people are like, hold on. Before I get myself involved with this person, let me sit back and see if this person has really did their healing and has really learned anything from all of this bullshit. No. I still don't see nothing growing. I don't see nothing amounting to nothing. Oh, whatever, whatever messages that they've been sending, I don't even want it. Whoop, I'm jumping right up out of that cup. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is like people seeing what you have done to other people and deciding that the offer sounds tempting and everything like that. But I don't know if that's going to, if it's going to work out for me. Like, it, 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 that don't sound like it's going to work out for me. A hierophant. like y'all 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 dealing with somebody it's like y'all all right so like i said it's just Whatever, whatever offer that you were, it's 
just like whatever job or whatever offer that you were putting out there to somebody I feel like even though I feel like you definitely go back to this companion it's like it's cheaper to keep her because ain't nothing else working out for you anywhere else I feel like you've even put yourself out there to other people just like this person and kind of offered yourself out there to this person. You put yourself out there to other people just like this person and try to offer yourself to these people and try to take advantage to them as well. But they put you down because they felt like you had ships elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? And that you were trying to juggle them and they rejected your offer. So I feel like you went back to your companion. I feel like you were cheating there even though... You know within <laughs> everything within your soul. You know that this ain't going to amount to nothing. And you know good and goddamn well that your heart don't really lie there. Even though you're offering your cup. It's like you're offering your cup. But it's like you're jumping out of it and back into your element. You know what I'm saying? It's like a false offer. And it's like if I could just work this shit out with this person. We already got kids. Like you might even be going back offering marriage to this person. Just to get this person to stop nagging you and being a complete fucking mental nightmare in your life because you know that this person is going to aid in the bed you you see what i'm saying this person is going to help you continue to be hung up in this old lifestyle and this this is the person that's going to allow you to cheat this and still come home this is the person that is going to allow you to manipulate them and not work and not do. And they still going to serve you and give to you and give to you and give to you and, uh, and aid you in just not being shit. They're aiding you and not working on yourself and not, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and it's like you're going back to start a brand new chapter with this same person that is like aiding you in this bullshit justice. You feel like it's the right thing to do by law. <laughs> yeah you're going back and celebrating but you still gonna keep two bitches yeah because this person wants to be acknowledged by you this person wants to be awarded they want to be crowned they want they want the fame they want to be the chosen one you know so it's like you you gonna go back and you gonna crown them <laughs> but it's like you know good and goddamn well you know good and well it's gonna be a battle of your motherfucking life you know it. You don't trust this person. This, trust, this person doesn't trust you. Y'all are both manipulators. Y'all are both cheaters. It's nothing but drama. And you're going to go back to a situation where it's just going to be. I feel like the only reason why you're going back there is because that's your companion. Y'all have this baby. You already have a home there. You don't put yourself out there to other weird people that you feel. I feel like this person only dates people that possibly have self-esteem issues or that they know it's so different from them that they can't see them they can't see their game coming you see what i'm saying it's fucking crazy and my camera's about to die y'all so if it dies just die give me one more spread in love for divine masculine give me one one more spread in love what's going on with divine masculine in love divine timing divine timing what is it saying? Having to remove a barrier. And give someone recognition that you don't want to. Damn. What the fuck? Spring. Some. Ah. It's tried. Yeah, I feel like your um like this like whoever this woman is someone someone had had a baby this spring or they having a baby this spring